What's going on guys? It's been a, quite a while. So here with the video here, I'm going to be upgrading my computer. Um, there's videos on my last computer build, which was a while ago. I upgraded since then. Uh, that was my old tower. It was a CM Storm Striker. Um, but yeah, that one had, I think it was like a four, i5 4670, um, something like that. Since then, I did upgrade to like a new tower and everything. Uh, right now, I have, I upgraded back in 2019 to a 9700K. Um, I did have a 2070 Super and I just upgraded last year to a uh, tough RTX 3080. And yeah, so this is on an LG C1, uh, 55 inch. Don't worry, I don't sit that close. I have my chairs here, but that's how I play. Kind of have a little desk set up here if I want with one play, so. I'm thinking eventually I might get an ultra wide and just use my desk over there, but for the time being, this is what I'm rocking here. So an LG C1, and yeah, uh, this is the NZXT um, H7 Float, which is an awesome case. And I'll just show you kind of the inside because it's been a little while. Uh, let's turn on my lighting here. Uh, so on the inside, kind of have like a almost like a Darth Vader theme. Black. I have the um, red LED lighting. And I have a little uh, Darth Vader there. Uh, case is a little dusty. I'm going to clean in there. But I have a Be Quiet um, CPU cooler. There's my RTX 3080 Tough. And I just have 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 uh, memory. It's Corsair Vengeance, I believe. Again, original stuff that I bought in 2019. Um, I believe my monitor was an MSI A Pro or something like that. And yeah, so I bought some of the NZXT fans uh, so I could change the colors and whatnot. But um, yeah, I have some LEDs in there as well. As you see, I could kind of change the color with this remote. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to be in s or upgrading to uh, the i7-13700K. All right, we're going to be pairing that with the Oris uh, Z790 Elite AX and uh, it's a DDR5 board and we're going to be pairing that with um, Corsair Vengeance RGB DDR5 it is 32 gigs of uh, memory 6000 megahertz and going to be installing uh, Liquid cooler. So this is the Oris Water Force 360. Pretty nice. And then the real star of the show is going to be the MSI Gaming Trio RT RTX 4090. Things a behemoth. So yeah. So cannot wait to get this build on the go. I'm definitely going to show you guys what it looks like when it's all said and done. But this is going to be the before, and uh, yeah, we're going to see the after. Okay, guys, I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, so just a little update during the build process. So here is the cooler. Um, just got the mounting bracket on really, really quick. Um, or I guess the Intel bracket, I should say. Mounting brackets installed on the back, so I'm going to install that. I'm just about to put the CPU, and I thought I would just show you guys, so... In all its glory, there's the Intel i7 13700K. Um, it's going to go right in there. And then I'm going to install the RAM. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. Everything is going. And uh, yeah, I will see you soon. Hey guys, just a quick update. So computer's been done since yesterday. I'm just installing the video card now. And it's just, what a difference. So this was my 3080. And I mean, you know, big card. And then next to the behemoth, like this 4090 is just absolutely huge. Like it's, it's heavy. This thing is a beast. Again, here's the 4080 in comparison. It's just, it's a lot, uh, Height, length, everything, it's just tiny. Like this thing is, get an idea of the, the size. 
of a 4080 to a 4090. I'm oh, sorry, a 3080 to a 4090. This behemoth doesn't come off that much bigger on camera, I don't think. Ah, there it does. But yeah, this is a giant card. Anyways, just wanted to show you that. I will have it in the H7 flow shortly, and we'll see you soon. All right, guys. Okay, guys, don't mind the mess here. I uh, just finished a few minutes ago installing the 4090. Had to pull out like the whole side of my other K, like the back of my case there, and just get all the wiring done and stuff. It is a three pin. Uh, this is gonna get tidied up, uh, these cables here. I'm probably gonna order, um, there's a cable mod uh, cord you could get. Okay guys, so build is all done. Um, that is the final result. I love the tinted glass on the H7 flow. It's such a nice, such a nice case. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. There's the beautiful um, 4090 in there by MSI. I got the support bracket in there as well, but uh, it's a little too dark in there to see on camera. And yeah, you don't even see it. I like that it kind of hides it, so that's nice. But yeah, guys, that is the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Just gonna turn the lights off really quick. And yeah. All right. So now it's time to sell this bad boy. 3080 did me good, but um, you know, I wanted something a little bit better for 4K and it was time to do an upgrade. Running a 9700K for the last little bit. Um, it was time for an upgrade. So anyways, I'm happy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. All right, peace.